Welcome to my channel, Susan's Just Making It. I'm Susan, and as always, I'm here making stuff, messes, chaos, and just trying to make it through life. If you've been here before, welcome back, and if this is your first time watching, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone's doing great, and if you like today's video, a thumbs up is always appreciated. So today, as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, of course, I am sharing my Timu PR haul. Now, I've had this for quite a while, obviously, because it's been a while since I've recorded, but it is not my first PR haul. My first PR haul was right before Christmas. Um, I think I selected my items a week and a half, two weeks before Christmas, but they got here literally like a day or two before Christmas, and they only gave me Christmas items to select, and there was no way I could have had it recorded and out on YouTube before Christmas, so I really didn't record it because it really didn't make a lot of sense. And some of the stuff I gave out for Christmas because it was Christmas stuff, like Christmas themed stuff. So this is actually my second home. Um, I have like mixed feelings about working with you, Timu. I really appreciate that they reached out to me, but I don't know. I have my reservations. First of all, um, I've enjoyed shopping with Timu, but when you are an affiliate with them, they give you a link to select your PR items, and it's a limited selection. It's not like you can just go on the site and just pick whatever you want, and that's what they send you. They give you a link, and it only has certain items. Now, um, a couple other creators have done PR with Timu and they have mentioned that they messaged the person they were working with and asked if they could select stuff from their cart and they were able to do so. I didn't realize that that was possible. So if they want to continue working with me, which I'm not sure after this video, um, I'm going to ask if I can do the same because it's hard to really endorse something when you're selecting items that you're just kind of like, yeah. If this is what I have to choose from, I'll just pick the best of my selection, I guess. Um, yeah, it's not necessarily stuff I would buy if given the whole website. So it is what it is. But I just have to be honest about how I feel about the whole thing. Now, they promised me a certain spending amount. And then when they sent me the link, it was not what they promised me. So that kind of has me feeling some kind of way about it too because it's like that's not what the agreement was but that's not what you guys are here for so I will show you what I got I was given a $50 spending limit I could pick up to eight items so here is my bag <laughs> it's been here a while but here's my bag um, I didn't pick a lot of items but they were bigger items so it's not like it's gonna be a long long video because it's not like there's 5,000 items in here obviously so I'll show you what I did get so what I did end up getting because the selections they gave me um the link when I went on it my selections were a lot of women's clothes but their sizes stop at like 14 ish so nothing would fit me I am plus size so that was out of the question I was not going to pick any clothes because they're not going to fit and how can I really kind of give an opinion if it's something I'm just going to hand to somebody else. Then they had um, some like infant and toddler clothes which I do have my granddaughter on the way but I think this this baby's not due till the end of April early May and she's probably got enough stuff to last her her first year I'm sure. So that didn't make a lot of sense to buy more clothes. I'm sure she's good for now and until I you know hear what they need it doesn't make any sense to keep buying her clothes. And then the other, the only other selections were um, pet clothing. Okay, I have a cat. I don't think she'd be very fond of me putting clothes on her. So that was kind of out of the question. And then the other were shoes. So I went with the shoes. I picked um, summer shoes because hopefully summer will get here at some point. So I'm just gonna. I don't know what I'm grabbing. I'm just gonna start grabbing. Now. Um, I picked up a four pair it came to just under $50 like 49 and change so with that being said on average a pair of shoes I don't remember the exact prices of these on average somewhere in the $12.50 range so with that being said I guess you can't expect a lot for $12.50 so we'll leave it at that 
I do, however, like the bags that they put stuff in. I'll give them that because I keep these to store stuff in. <laughs> so, I do like the bags. Okay, here's the first pair I grabbed out. And these are really cute. And I'm not modeling them because I have slippers on. And I'm not like I want to put my feet up here on the table. I'm <laughs> just not. But here's the first pair. And I picked and I, these. The selection for this color, I think, was burgundy. I, I, oh, not this. But that's the color these are supposed to be um, for the selection is burgundy. And I think they're really cute. Um, nice little buckle. I like the color. Um, but like I said, you know, with the price point, um, you got to keep that in mind. I'm not particularly fond of the bottom. It's like kind of plasticky. Um, I'll be honest, before I wear these, I probably will take um, a fine grit sandpaper and rough them up just a tiny bit because this is um, a bust in your ass waiting to happen. Just saying. Because um, they feel really slick and I'm not trying to do that. And the sole, it's like a, like a faux leather type of thing. It's kind of soft, but um, you can kind of tell it's like kind of loose in a few spots. So you can tell it's just that the faux stuff, which like I said, for like twelve fifty ish Um so yeah. Um the pictures looked really nice, which of course the pictures do. And um I didn't pay anything for this because it was PR. Um I would say for around twelve fifty, thirteen dollars, however much it was, it's an okay deal. Um, I'm not expecting them to last the whole summer depending on how much I wear them but they are really cute and I will wear them until I can't and um, after this video I'm not sure if Timu is going to want to work with me but I have to give my honest opinion I am not going to get on here just because they gave me the stuff and say oh it's just so wonderful I would pay twice as much for it sorry gotta be honest not to sound ungrateful that's not it at all I'm just being honest um I'm not gonna complain about you know it too much because I didn't pay anything for it but if I would pay $50 for these four pairs of shoes I would have been a little disappointed if you want me to be 100% honest just saying because I have gone to there's a store in our local shopping mall that I can pay like $12 for a pair of sandals and no lie they're better than this just saying but like I said so here's the other pair and um, they're cute too these ones have um, a velcro where the other ones are an actual buckle and it's the same thing um, they're not quite as slick as the other ones so these ones aren't too bad but they still are kind of slick and um, like I said it's got the velcro buckle and we've got this it's got the little um, like metal accents here really cute um the color these are the, the selection this was a color red but i didn't expect it to be bam red in the picture it did look a little bit more muted and granted i know everybody's monitor is different on their laptops and phones and stuff but i like red so i will wear them and i think the style is really cute um this one this pair the sole seems like a little bit of a better quality it's not like laying on there it's actually like down in the sole so I think this pair will probably hold up better than the other pair but um I do think they're cute and I definitely will wear them I wear red in the summer and I do like the style um when I actually wear them I know Timu would probably prefer that I try them on now but when I actually do wear them I will um share what I think and um, show you what they look like so that's the second pair and then I have this pair if I can get the bag open and um, these ones I have the, the two reddish color ones so I decided to get a blue as well and I think a lot of these the colors were like gray brown blue red um for the most part they might have had some other options so i think a couple of them had white for an option but um again i think this is a cute style this is more like the sole like the first one i showed you where it's more like glued right on and again super slick i would probably take some sandpaper and rough these up 
um, for safety's sake. I'm not young anymore, and I really don't want to break a bone um, for you know taking a spill. Now it's adjustable here um, with Velcro, and then it's also adjustable here with Velcro, and then behind your heel with Velcro, which is nice. And I'm going to tell you why I think that's nice because. At the beginning of the day, I'm going to put these on, but by the end of the day, I'm going to need to loosen the Velcro. I have a big problem with um, fluid retention in the summertime in my um, legs and feet, so that I really do like because if I have these on all day, I'm probably going to need to loosen the Velcro by the end of the day. It is what it is. Um, yeah, I address it with the doctors, but you know, they have different opinions deal with it or here's some water pills oh I'm not giving you water pills use compression stockings oh lower your sodium intake oh this then whatever it is what it is it's been for years so I just deal with it but cute really like the color I like that they're more like a denim color but um yeah super slick soles and the this like glued on type of thing it's got the stitching here but like around the edge it's not very secure I can see after using wearing these a couple times this is going to really start coming loose but like I said um I'll wear them until they're you know beyond wearable and then one last hair so those I mean I'm not thrilled with but I will wear them I'm for the most part happy um as far as you know not like I got them said oh I'm not gonna wear them at all those are really not what I expected um, however these ones I'm not as sure about now they had a wide selection of colors for this and I chose the white because I already had the red and the blue and I thought the white was really nice and summery now again price point um, you gotta take that into account now I did actually have these ones in my car as a selection because they looked super cute like um, part sneaker part sandal and they had the velcro to adjust them but I think sometimes the pictures are deceiving but you know buyer beware and kind of take things with a grain of salt in my opinion when you buy anything online these have the really slick um, plasticky soles again We'll be roughing these up with sandpaper so I don't fall. Um, I don't know. Like the biggest thing that kind of had me like, I don't know, was um, that this part. Let me see if I can show you. See, it's not even going to show up. Yeah, there it shows up better. This in the um, photo to me looks kind of like mesh but lined. So when I got it and it's just straight up mesh which I guess is good for the summer because your feet can breathe they just looked like they were a notch up from what they really are so this was my um, fourth selection so like I said I got the four pair the white ones let's see if I can reach them um, the blue ones the sneaker ones I'm kind of like eh I'll probably wear them a little bit but the sandals, I love sandals. The red ones. And these that are supposed to be um, burgundy. I thought they looked in the picture a little bit more raspberry, but um, I like the color. So, Timu probably will not want to work with me after this, but I'm, I have to be honest. Um, so, $50 for four pairs of shoes. It's not terrible. Like I said, it averages out to about $12.50 a pair. So, I'm you know keeping that in mind with my opinion I think that's like all I would pay for these I would not pay 20 or 25 nope sure wouldn't um to me which I think I don't know with me I'm getting to the point I think Timu is a hit or miss I've got some stuff that I've been very happy with and I've got other things I haven't been as happy with so it is what it is in my opinion, it's kind of like going in a family dollar or dollar general in a way. Like, I would probably expect to go on family dollar and pay like $12.50 or $15 for these. So, I guess you get what you pay for, although I didn't technically pay for these, but I'm just saying. But, I guess it's just me being spoiled, finding good deals. Because, like I said, we do have a, a shoe store in our local mall that I can go in and pay $12.50 and it's better than this.
so maybe I'm just spoiled that way um, not that I'm too goody goody for like you know more inexpensively produced things it's just um, I don't know I guess with my thrifting and just bargaining I can get more for that money like if I were to have fifty dollars in cash and go out on my own shopping I think I could do better just saying so don't hate me Timu do not hate me subscribers and viewers but I'm just keeping it real I'm they're cute and I'll wear them but I'm not impressed I guess you could say now um, I the eyeshadow palettes I have purchased what I'm wearing is not Timu um, have been a hit or miss I've tried a couple love them tried a couple I'm like eh. so take it for what it's worth like I said um <laughs> most people when they get PR they're like oh I'm just so happy and it's so beautiful and so wonderful and thank you and thank you I do appreciate Timu um yeah working with me and getting free items but I would have preferred to choose what I wanted to I just tried to pick the best from what they offered so <laughs> don't hate me um don't think I am like a bad person but just keeping it real so that is my Timu PR haul it'll probably be my last Timu PR haul <laughs> I don't know unless they're like forgiving understanding people I don't know but it is what it is um, like I said it wouldn't do any good for me to get up here and lie to you and, and make them out to be something they're not and then you rush out and buy them and then get disappointed and be like well Susan said yeah Susan didn't say <laughs> I'm just keeping it real um, I don't want to like ha shed a bad light on Timu but like I said I know how I'd feel if somebody showed me this and said how nice they were and then I ordered them and then I was like they said they were nice I don't know because like or even now I'm feeling this and I don't know how comfortable this will be when I sweat it's kind of like rough I can see that like maybe rubbing a blister because it's like I don't know we'll see we'll see if I have a different opinion after wearing them I will definitely let you know so don't think I'm a bad opinion <laughs> opinionated rude person but it is what it is so that's my TMU PR haul I'm going to shut up before I get myself in more trouble thank you for taking the time to watch I really appreciate it tomorrow will be my regular TMU haul that I've had for two or three weeks now actually and have not gotten around to recording and um I'll share my opinion on that we'll see so I will see you in the next video bye everyone